What's going on YouTube? Edible Incredible back at it again, baby. I have a cool little interesting topic for you guys. And I kind of want to, I definitely want to know what you guys think about this. Let me know. But let's get right into it. So, I believe, this is my opinion obviously, that Nintendo perfectly set up a prequel to Breath of the Wild. And I have a couple reasons why I think this is the case. First off, and probably the most obvious one, and the reason why I'm making this video is simply because of this. A couple different people in this game. Now, I'm gonna give you a spoiler warning before I start spoiling Breath of the Wild. Not huge spoilers, but it's more of like a backstory to Breath of the Wild. I mean, a long, long time ago backstory. And by the way, spoils, I'm about to get into it right now. And that is Impa and Cass, the bird dude, the Rito dude, they both mentioned. A hero being successful 10,000 years ago. When I first heard this in the game, I was thinking, holy shit, holy shit. Is 10,000 years ago Twilight Princess, Ocarina, Wind Waker, Link to the Past? What is this hero? But then if you look at it and you realize what it is, it's, it's a hero we have not experienced at all. We have no recollection. I mean, you know, it's not a previous game. It's a total story that they've made up, like, for Breath of the Wild. And to sum it up, I'm gonna go off memory real quick what this story is. And this is the story is literally, you know, the tapestry, the you know, the world map you get with the special edition and master edition. You flip it over, and I'll put this on the screen. And you flip it over, and you got the tapestry, you know, with like the four divine beasts and Ganon and and then a hero on the right side, and we got the goddess, you know, Zelda on the left side sealing them. That's actually uh, a tapestry for 10,000 years before Breath of the Wild. And actually, that is even in the game, and I might hopefully be able to show this as well, right now. That behind Impa, she actually has that same tapestry. So it's a legend in their world as well. So, 10,000 years ago, basically, from going off memory, that 10,000 years ago, they used the Guardians, the Divine Beast, just like in Breath of the Wild. And they were successful in stealing Ganon, they used, obviously, the hero of that time, and the Zelda of that time, and they were successful. And then, you know, 10,000 years later, they decided, like we see 100 years before Breath of the Wild, to do the same thing, basically. And obviously, Calamity Ganon must have been like, you're doing this again? Like, that's probably why he was successful 100 years ago, because he's already seen this. They probably should have changed it up, because Calamity Ganon is a fucking monster. But obviously, he was able to be like, oh, you're using these divine beasts and these guardians again. I almost had to take control of these motherfuckers, and you guys are fucked for 100 years. <laughs> But anyway, that's basically what it is, 10,000 years ago. And 10,000 years ago probably also was around the time when this technology, the Guardians, Divine Beasts, were probably right after they were created. So something that would be really fucking awesome for a future Zelda game, 2D or 3D, hopefully 3D, is, you know, 10,000 years before Breath of the Wild, this hero scenario would be really cool to see in a real game because we probably would find out, you know, how the hell this technology was built, was it? So we know it was built by the Sheikah, but more details would be so awesome. And especially, like, the most popular opinion is right now, I'm going to go with that for a second, you know, that it is after Twilight Princess. And if that, that is really the case, so basically, this game would link Twilight Princess and Breath of the Wild a lot better than we see right now. We would... Shit, because the, the, the Twili, the Twili, I forget how to say it, in Twilight Princess, people in the Twilight Realm, are definitely descendants of the Sheikah. We see the Sheikah Eye. Maybe they were the creators of this technology? I don't know, man. It's so... Hopefully in this game, whenever this game does come out, because I feel like it definitely will, because they set it up perfectly, 10 years before, they set it up perfectly for themselves. That'd be so cool to find out how this stuff was made, and... You know, seeing the Sheikah actually make it, all that crazy shit. And maybe Gandalf would be in that game. Anyway, that's basically about it, guys. From what I, going off memory, but from what I know of the reasons why 10,000 years ago. It was only stated twice, I believe, by Cass. He told a story, and Impa also told a similar story. And that's really about it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this little short video about this. Once again, let me know what you think. And this is Edible Incredible signing out, my homies. Stay hype, people. Peace.